には古代における善悪良美の存在から悪義に歪曲されました日本では古来鬼の二つの矛盾した役割すなわち疫病そのものそれを退けるものを示していましたそのため儀式においては鬼を待つ祈りを捧げることで疫病退散を願います I found not interesting as an analogy for the solid definitions of minorities. Many of us only know is the solid definitions. The Greek demon suffered from a similar perception in the same era. I was thinking about definitions and how they distort through time and history. Information transmission is a process of dissociation. So, the concept of minority and how we now tag specific minorities is the focus of the work. The physical exhibit and the three screenings recreated both of the ingrained distorted roles of Oni. So, in this case, the pandemic is a minority in the world. The minority is a minority in the world. I'm Asian, but I think the concept of American model minority is reflected in this. Oni are being forced into being new characters, but like Atlas. The essence of the original role of bearing the weight of the world has remained. The video work is played backwards, tracing the storyline of Klozka Adachigahora. It shows the minority perspective, which is opposite to the majority experience given in the exhibit and the screenings. That's when we started to realize oh my God, maybe we have been tracing the stereotype. Cliche type of roles. When I think back of what I've done, there are scenes or there are characterization that I was requested to do so. Monogatari no chushin ni suel oni. Isen kara koryu ga atta matsumodo mi oke shi shika kangae rare masen de shita. Appeku gojun en no keha no rekishi o uke tsuita kare no sagin wa, sono gishiki o honmono ni shite kure mashita.彼の作品にふさわしい場所も必要でした。僕が一番好きな建築である非運閣。国宝で非公開ゆえに非現実的な企画でしたが、奇跡的に実現しました。非運閣は同じ京都にあります金閣銀閣の並び、京の三名閣
ロックダウン下のパリ。疫病退散の儀式ならではの非日常と強烈な印象を核として受けましたそんな中で出会ったのはエイジアンヘイトの問題です関連する投稿をインスタグラムで見てすぐに調べました For the first time in history, we are forewarned of a possible epidemic. You can help prevent the spread of Asian influenza and protect the health of your family by vaccination against Asian influenza. Don't wait. See your doctor or health department now. With the onset of coronavirus and it originating in China, I've received so, so many comments of people being like, haha, like, Saying, like calling me, like, oh, Wuhan, da da da, coronavirus. Really struck me was when this mass shooting happened in Atlanta. This person attacked two Asian massage parlors. That was very, very shocking for a lot of Asian actors in Hollywood, including myself. This racism towards Asian was very confusing. Human's intention comes from two elements, and it's the gradation of two. And one is love, and the other one is fear. I think racism is coming from fear, definitely. And even though you have to defend yourself sometimes, if you carry a gun just to defend yourself from the other group of people, then this cycle will never end. When I saw what was happening in the world, In particular, the US. I felt there should be an installation in LA. I chose Venice from Quentin Tarantino film because his film, which represents how they show Asian cultures from a Western perspective. It's a stimulating and risky expression. But personally, I feel his love for those cultures. How prominent and essential and integral、um, the Asian American、uh, community is here. If you take out the Asians, you don't have a city. You know, like, it's not LA anymore. It's a funny thing. Especially for a gallery like Commonwealth and Council, because the gallery program has been there. You ask a lot of our artists who were showing with us 10 years ago, eight years ago, they were not getting the studio visits while they were in graduate school. They were not the get ones getting the uh, uh, gallery shows. Being part of the Commonwealth and Council, this kind of alternative space that didn't sell any work, they knew that it would come with,、uh, it, it came with an audience that was part of niche community、uh, in Los Angeles, but it didn't come with a lot of the sort of like infrastructure and the material resources, perhaps.、Um, we tried to be thoughtful about、um, avoiding essentializing, flattening. Fetishizing kinds of impulses that、um, often attend these kinds of corrective measures. And, and that's just how capitalism works, too, right? It's like it has a tendency to just like subsume everything under and you know, the, the sort of like a woke consumerism. Right now, we are still in the middle of a Corrective moment, if you will, particularly as far as the art market goes.、Um, that's very much trying to bring issues of diversity and inclusivity to the fore of considerations. When I first got signed in Australia, I sent my photos originally to three different agencies, and then of those three, one of them denied me. Another one denied me, saying that they don't need any Asian models. And then when I moved to the state, I got turned down for the same reasons. So, like, yeah, we have our Asian girls, yeah, we have our like, Hispanic girls. And then there's like someone who's got darker skin. It's just 
Like, are you doing this because you actually care or because you don't want to get in trouble with people on the internet? Honestly, at this point, I still do feel quite like an alien. The word minority in its definition are the big problem and major concern for me, especially if the existence of a distorted definition for the benefit for the majority is ingrained for generations to come. The video is also on a loop to show a situation where the problem seems to be resolved, but it's difficult to completely get out of, or where you are still afraid that it might loop again. What this reminds us in 2021 is that in the world we live in, the pandemic repeatedly diverged and converged. When we think about the minority issue, it reminds us of a solid social structure the winner never relents, and official history continues to weave its story. Still only remains just an evil thing. This pandemic would reveal the contradictions imposed on minorities. Only the consistent loser, the eternal minority, the ultimate other, 